Hey YouTube! Okay, so this video is going to be about cloth diapering. I've had quite a few of you guys send me um, requests to do a video on my cloth diapering experience so far with Piper. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are first time moms to be that are considering cloth diapering. Um, so I really hope that this video helps you guys out a little bit. Um, I'm not going to go into like major, major detail, but um, I'm going to give you guys a basic overview of my favorite cloth diapers um, and how I use them. So my absolute favorite cloth diaper of all time is, of course, I bet you guys can guess, Fuzzy Buns. <laughs> I love Fuzzy Buns, and I'm really, really glad that I just happened to have gotten lucky um, and really liked this brand. When I first went to go purchase cloth diapers, I did a ton, a ton of research and I kind of just took everyone's word for it that Fuzzy Buns was good. And I ordered my entire stash in Fuzzy Buns without even really trying any other brands. So I just kind of got lucky in that aspect. So if you're looking into cloth diapering, I would highly suggest highly suggest that you go to kellyscloset.com or gogonatural.com um, and you try some of the sampler packages that they have available and you get to try various cloth diapers um, before deciding on one particular brand because your favorite diaper may not be my favorite diaper so this is just my opinion um, okay so my favorite diaper is the fuzzy buns one size I love this diaper. If you guys see me looking down, I have some notes written, so that's why I keep looking away from the camera. Um, but Fuzzy Buns is a pocket diaper, and of course at the end of me talking, I'm going to actually show you guys the diaper up close um, instead of me just holding it up. But um, Fuzzy Buns has a waterproof PUL, which means you do not need a diaper cover in order to use this diaper. It's just an all-in-one. You just, well, it's not an all-in-one, but you don't have to use a diaper cover for it. Um, I, oh my gosh, I just cannot say how much I freaking love this diaper. Um, and you can choose the amount of absorbency, which I really, really like. Um, a, what a pocket diaper is means it has this big hole in the back or the front, depending on the diaper. And you have these micro terry inserts. Some of them are bamboo, some of them are hemp. It just, again, depends on your brand. But you take your insert and you just stuff it into your diaper. And I know you guys probably can't see the diaper that I'm actually stuffing, but anyway. <laughs> and you just stuff it in your diaper like that. Um, and you can choose the absorbency. During the day for Piper, I tend to only use one insert because I can change her every two to three hours without it being a big deal. Um, at night, however, I definitely double up on the inserts. And I have to tell you, with this Fuzzy Buns diaper, I have not had a leak ever. Never once had a single leak with the exception of the first week that I used them. Um, and that was only because she was so teeny tiny, they just didn't fit her very well yet. So other than that, I haven't had any major leaking problems. Um, if she has a really big explosive poo, um, it, sometimes it will you know, leak through the sides or whatever. However, that's the same for a disposable diaper. You're gonna have leaks with a disposable. So it's rare, but it can happen. But in comparison to a disposable, way, way, way less leaks. Um, let's see. I love the way that this diaper washes. It's so easy to wash, meaning to me it comes clean. You don't see any stains on this. This diaper was used, this particular diaper was used with my daughter for about a year and it's been used with Piper so far for this past month and a half. Um, no leaks, no, no leaks, no stains <laughs> at all on this diaper. Um, so it washes really, really well. Um, fuzzy Buns also, my favorite feature of Fuzzy Buns is that it has the adjustable rise in the leg. Um, and I will show you guys what I mean by the adjustable rise right here. So this is a close-up of the Fuzzy Buns diaper. Um, as you can see, it's got all of your snaps right across here. You can control a bit of your rise right here, and you can control the, um, the sizing around the waist. There's the logo. For those of you who don't know what the logo was, I had someone ask me, why do you always show the logo? Um, but a lot of cloth diapering moms that are just now starting out don't know what the logo looks like. Um, but this is the diaper. I'm going to open it up. And it is so soft, you guys. Fuzzy Bun stays soft. Um, granted, they don't stay as soft as they did the day you purchase it, but it, it's always pretty soft. Um, this is the adjustable leg gusset, and I've pulled out the elastic right here. So you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a one, two, three, and then there's little buttonholes right here. There's also a button 
that can be found right underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see, there's the button. The fleece usually covers the button, except on the bigger sizes. I've noticed when it's on the larger size, um, this button is exposed. Um, there's a little hole right here, so rather than having your elastic hanging out or whatever, you take it and you stick it through that hole. And I can't do it with one hand, so I'm sorry, but you stick it in that hole, and then it'll look like it does on this side. So that is the adjustable rise setting on this diaper. In the back here, as you can see, this is the pocket area. The waterproof PUL is basically a lining, which prevents leaks. It's a little glossy looking. Um, and the entire inside of the diaper, from this corner to this corner, all the way down, is lined interior with the PUL. So you're not going to have any obnoxious leaks or be cleaning up accidents all the time. Um, this right here is the normal size micro terry insert that you use to put into your fuzzy buns diaper. Um, it's pretty thick. I think it's four layers thick. Um, and this diaper, um, this diaper, this insert is absolutely perfect for daytime usage. I love, love, love this insert and I have very, very few leaks with it. Um, but, and I, again, I can't do this with one hand, <laughs> but you take your insert and you stuff it into your diaper. Okay, and here's the diaper with the insert already in it, like this. And again, you can put two of these in here, you can put three of these in here, whatever you need to put in to maximize your absorbency. If, you're, if your child sleeps 12 hours a night, you're going to need probably two or three of these. Um, it just depends on what works best for you. But for daytime usage, I use one, and nighttime I use two. Don't have any leaks right now with a month and a half old baby. Um... They're super cute. They come in different colors. This particular color is called Coco Truffle. I think. Meh, I may be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. Um, but this is just a really, really good diaper, and it's super durable. Um, I think the average price for a Fuzzy Buns diaper, when I paid for them, was $19.95. I think the price may have gone up a little bit, and they may cost um, in upwards of $20 to $22. Um, again, I may be wrong, um, but I paid $19 for this diaper. Um, and I have to say, well worth the money. You know, even if it is does seem a little bit pricey um, for one diaper, you have to keep in mind that you're using this diaper from birth to potty training. So that's at least two to two and a half years worth of usage from one single diaper. So still definitely a good deal. You know, you get the most bang for your buck when you are purchasing cloth diapers anyway. But that is the Fuzzy Buns cloth diaper. If you guys have any other questions on it, let me know. So I hope that that helps you guys understand a little bit more about the Fuzzy Buns diaper. You got to see it up close. You got to see what the adjustable rise is, um, all the different snaps, inserts, whatever. Um, so that is definitely my number one favorite, favorite diaper. My number two favorite diaper is Dinkle Doos. And I think I only like Dinkle Doos because it is so similar to Fuzzy Buns. Um, and this is a Dinkle Doos diaper. That's what the brand looks like, or the logo. Now, I really love this diaper, and it is extraordinarily similar to Fuzzy Buns. Um, again, I will show you up close of this diaper as well. Um, but it has, you know, the normal pocket in the back. Um, the only difference between this diaper and Fuzzy Buns is that it has the layover, um, the layover pocket, meaning that it's not just an open hole. This folds over, which I do like that feature. Um, it has the adjustable rise um, via snaps. It's not in the leg gusset. So you have you have your newborn setting. See all these three snaps right here are for adjusting the rise, and I also like this feature on Dinkle Doos that Fuzzy Buns likewise does not have. Hang on. I don't know if you guys can tell right here. There are extra snaps on this right here. So for extra tiny babies, say you have a super, super newborn, really, really little, um, this will fold over and you can snap it over the other one. So I really like that feature. Um, however, con with this diaper. Um, Yes, it will fit a newborn wonderfully around the waist. However, in the rise, it doesn't fit so good. Um, even on Piper now, and she's almost 10 pounds now, um, around the leg, the thighs or whatever, it still kind of gapes open. And if she's laying on her side a little bit or whatever, I will have leaks with this diaper. Um, simply because it doesn't fit her good yet. Um, I would probably recommend this diaper for a... 
12 pound and up baby. Um, I don't think you can use it on newborns, even though it does have this awesome little layover feature that you could use on newborns. So, I don't know. I think they need to either make another snap down here to make the rise a little smaller, um, or they need to just do the adjustable rise and the lug gussets like fuzzy buns. Um, but this is also an awesome, awesome diaper. Um, I still use it on her if she's sitting up in her car seat or in her swing. Um, this is still a good diaper, and I don't usually have a ton of leaks with it. Okay, this is the Dinkle Doos diaper. This is what it looks like completely opened. Um, all of the snaps on the rise are open. This is the inside. And by the layover pocket, I have so many people ask me what the heck is a layover pocket. In comparison to the fuzzy buns right here, see how the fuzzy buns pocket is just wide open. And you just put the insert in and then you will fold your fleece over the elastic on the back to prevent... Um, your child getting red marks on their back. With this one, it already has some fleece right here that folds in to the pocket like so. So you have two layers of fleece here instead of just one open gap. Um, and you can overlay it the other way too as well if you prefer. However, I have found that just like the fuzzy buns, I still have to take this fleece and pull it up over the edge because see how this is folding down? That will still create red marks on the back of your child's back, which can be very uncomfortable if they're wearing the diaper for an extended period of time. So even though this does have the layover pocket, I find that it really doesn't help all that much um, in this particular case. This is the diaper all snapped up on what on the setting that I use for my daughter. I have the adjustable snap rise on the newborn setting, and I also have the... Um, the waist sizing on the second smallest that it will possibly go. Um, and this is the set, this is the setting I use on my daughter. This is what it looks like from the back. Again, you've got your Dinkle Doos logo. Um, I really do like this diaper again, but you know, it does have its cons. If I had to pick between this and Fuzzy Buns, of course Fuzzy Buns would win. However, this is extremely, extremely similar to Fuzzy Buns. Um, you can likewise choose your absorbency. I already have an insert in here. But you can also choose your absorbency, which means that you can put multiple inserts in there, whatever you need, for overnight versus during the day. This one also has the waterproof PUL on the inside, which extends to each to all corners of the diaper, so you're going to have minimal leaking. Um, again, I would recommend this diaper for probably a 12 pound baby and up, because around the legs it does fit a little open. Like, with my daughter has really, really skinny chicken legs. <laughs> oh, Lord bless her. But, um, it does gape open a little bit, so if she's turned to the side, um, or she's laying on her stomach, it will leak, leak out of the top or the sides. Um, I believe that that problem will be solved as she gets bigger and the diaper fits her better. So that's nothing against the diaper because this is an awesome diaper. And if it weren't for the fit being a little off, um, I don't believe that I would have any leaks with this particular diaper. My favorite hook and loop diaper, because some of you guys prefer the hook and loop, um, it's the most similar to a disposable that you can get. Um, and what hook and loop means is basically Velcro. Um, so my favorite diaper using Velcro is the Happy Heinies. And it looks like this. Now, in the past, I have done reviews on a Happy Heinies products um, that I have not liked. Um, I did a review on the, the Happy Heinies Pocket Trainer. Hate those. Cannot stand them. This is not the same thing. <laughs> this is an actual diaper. It is a Happy Heinies Pocket Diaper. Um, again, it is very similar to a disposable. You have the front here. It just unvelcros, opens. Very, very easy. Um, this diaper is ideal if you have family members that are going to be changing your baby's diaper and they maybe aren't used to cloth diapers. Um, it's perfect for grandparents. My mom, when she watches Piper, she cannot, for the life of her, get the snaps in the right place on the snap diapers. So this is just super easy for her just to fold over and not worry about it. Um, same goes for my husband. He is fine with cloth diapering. He has no problem with cloth diapering. However, he finds it easier as well just to use the hook and loop. Um, another pro, they're awesome for middle of the night changes. When you're changing your baby in the middle of the night, you don't want to be fumbling around necessarily with a ton of snaps trying to get them in the right place because, um, of course, you're half asleep as it is. Um, so this just makes it super, super easy. 
um, a con to the Happy Hyenies Velcro diaper is that it just doesn't hold up as good. Snaps are by nature going to be more durable than the Velcro. Um, and I, I have, I've had pretty good luck with this diaper so far. I haven't been noticing it um, pilling in any places yet. See the Velcro is still in really, really good condition. Um, however, I've only been using it a month and a half. So, you know, again, can't quite judge yet. Um, but they have a ton of cute prints. This is the Peace Bears print. And I just think it's super, super cute. Um, I like that they have little actual pictures on the diaper. I know Fuzzy Buns doesn't offer um, actual prints like that um, unless you special order them or find them on a different website. Um, but I do like this diaper. I have not noticed any leaks in this diaper so far. It also has the waterproof PUL in the back. Again, I will show you a close-up of this diaper as well and show you all the features of it. Um, but this is probably my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite um, hook and loop diaper. Um, and I've tried quite a few hook and loops. I've tried, I'm not going to mention the ones that I've tried because it's a very long list, but um, in my opinion, this is the best hook and loop that I have found. However, you know, I can always change my mind. I might try a diaper tomorrow and like it better than this. There are infinite amounts of cloth diaper brands out there to try, so you never know. But this is just my personal favorite. And I tend to find something that I like, and I just, I don't try anything else because I have what I like. Um, okay, so those are my three favorite cloth diapers of all time. Love, love, love each and every one of them. This is the Happy Heinies Pocket Diaper, um, and this is a one size, and I really do like this diaper for a hook and loop. Um, overall, I personally am not a big fan of the hook and loop. I think the snaps are way more durable. You're going to get more bang for your buck with the snaps because you're not going to have to um, replace them. You're not going to have the pulling of the Velcro. Um, it's just a known fact. Velcro is not going to last as long as a snap diaper would. Um, however, I know a ton of people prefer the um, hook and loop over the snaps. So if I had to pick a hook and loop, this is definitely the diaper that I would go with. Um, as you can see, it's got the Velcro right here. Aren't these bears the cutest ever? I think they are adorable. You've got one doing the peace sign and then that one's holding a peace sign. They're just super, super cute. Um, and again, they have different patterns for girls and boys. They have solid prints. Um, just a lot of really, really cute options. And It is very, very soft. Extremely, extremely soft. Um, I just, I love that it stays soft. Some diapers, after you've washed them a few times, they can get, develop sort of a coarse feeling. Um, and they don't feel they don't feel as nice against baby's skin as they did originally. In the back right here, you have your pocket. And the pocket on this one is a lot like the fuzzy buns, which I like. Um, again, you put your insert in. And it also has a waterproof PUL. I don't know if you can see the shiny right here. But it has a waterproof PUL throughout, so you're not going to have um, any leaks. And you don't need a diaper cover for this diaper. Um, just a side note, my personal preference is the pocket diapers. This is not all that is out there. So if you think you might not want a pocket diaper, if you don't think you would want to stuff the diapers every time you do the laundry, um, you might want to look into an all-in-one option. Um, I know some moms who prefer the pre-fold diapers um, with the cover, and that is an awesome choice as well if that is, if that is to your liking. Um, you can also use a snappy and all of that if you're using covers. This is the rise. I like how the adjustable rise on the Happy Heinies has four snaps that you can choose the adjustable rise, whereas the Dinkle Doos, I believe, only has three snaps. So I really, really like that. So it will definitely fit smaller babies. Um, my daughter right now, she's, she is six weeks old and she is on this snap and this snap pulled together like so, like it was before. And this is what the diaper looks like all closed up. Um, I haven't noticed a problem with wing droopage on this diaper or any of these diapers actually. I don't notice any major wing droopage issues. Um, what wing droopage is, for those of you non-cloth diapering moms or for those of you who haven't cloth diapered yet, actually I can't even get wing droopage on this one because it's Velcro. But um, if I were to have wing droopage, that would be what wing droopage is. If, it's, if the ends of where you snap it or Velcro it pops out of the top or the bottom. Um, but I don't notice that there's a problem with that with this diaper. 
So definite thumbs up for the Happy Heinies pocket diaper.